Hey everybody, what's up? Jess here, Arrow Jam Farms. Uh, gonna do a little bit of a top link modification today, and uh, specifically hydraulic top link. Uh, recently did uh, added on a quick hitch, a pat style quick hitch to this tractor, category two, and that actually changed the length of my arms and. I knew this going in and I knew I might have enough stroke in this cylinder to make it work uh, but unfortunately one direction uh, with the cylinder all the way out uh, which is what you expect I would like a little bit more uh, on that end to uh, especially working with the box blade so like I said I'll show you the one I got now uh, the one I'm moving to uh, discuss why I've kind of went with those but I'll also talk about one I have that has a check valve on it that I don't really use uh, and some things about it that I'm not real crazy about so stick around uh, let's get it let's get to it all right as you can see here I've got the box blade on and I really like a hydraulic top link for the box blade but I also use it for uh, unrolling hay with my hay unroller I got a video on that so check that out and also with my hay spear uh, I have some pretty uneven ground and having this on the hay spear lets me really manipulate that spear uh, if I'm backing up to a bell and the train really changes, I can, you know, I can manipulate, manipulate that spear how I need to to get to stabbing that bell really easy. So these aren't just for uh, box blades. They come in handy for uh, handling your hay and stuff too. This particular top link is a, I think it's a Magister is how you pronounce it. Uh, I bought it off of Amazon. They also have a store, uh, their own website. <clears throat> I'll throw some links down in the description to these and you can check them out. I've had good luck with I've had this on here for a couple of years. Uh, depending on what I'm doing, sometimes I will take this off and put my regular uh, static top link on there. Or my rigid top link uh, that come with the tractor. Uh, like for my hay mower and things like that. Um, this particular one is... I think it's a two and a half inch bore. I don't remember the cylinder size, but it's all size for Cat 2. These are uh, the swivel eyes are one inch pins, so it does work with uh, Cat 2 top link. And that's specifically why I kind of got this one. This is a 12 inch stroke, and that worked fine uh, when I didn't have these Pat's quick hitch devices on here. And I still have enough really to kind of do what I need to do. But what I've noticed with the box blade is I can't really tilt it back enough to just engage that back blade if I want to. Uh, I run out of uh, cylinder stroke there. So that got, got me looking again at these. And uh, I ordered one. I'll throw a picture up here. It's the... Uh, I think it was from agristore.com, which is, I think they're the uh, AMA or AMA brand cylinder. It has a check valve on it. Uh, I didn't really like that because with their, your heavier implements, that check valve, it chatters when it lowers. So, so I could pull it in just fine. I could pull the cylinder in just fine and shorten that link. But when I'd go to extend it out, it would brrrr real bad. That may or may not be an issue in the long term, but I didn't care for it. Another thing with those is they have British style uh, hose connectors. So if something were to go wrong, uh, I mean, stuff happens. You know, if one was to break off or, or start leaking or something like that, then I would have to resort to finding the correct thing on the internet and getting it ordered. Uh, whereas these magisters, it's all standard. Uh, just SAE, SAE O-ring boss here, and I convert that to a JIC here. So nothing out of the ordinary uh, stuff that I could find at any local hydraulic shop, more than likely. So uh, with that said, I'm gonna go rig up this other, this newer cylinder I got, and I'll uh, talk to you a little bit about it. Now I think this one retracted is 22 inches. I said, like I said, it's 12 inch stroke, so that gets you out to 34. So 22 to 34 on this one. And it was a little bit too short because 
I think these pats supposedly add around four inches to the length of your uh, lift arms. All right, so I'm sitting here at the back of the uh, truck on the tailgate, and here's the new cylinder. Turn it around here, you can see the, the brand. I think that's pronounced Magister. Uh, like I said, I'll throw some links to both of these in the description. You can check them out. The thing about this Magister brand is that it has grease certs uh, for the swivel eyes. I'm kind of on the fence about that. Uh, you know, I guess in theory, you'd think it'd be a good idea, and I thought it was a good idea when I first got one. Uh, I mean, if you do, if you have some grease, not so much the grease, but I think these seem to be a little bit taller, tire, uh, tighter tolerance than a normal swivel eye. So sometimes I have some issues getting, so if I have to use a bushing for a Cat 1 top link, I do sometimes have issues getting that bushing in or out of these just because they're such a tight fit, grease or no grease. So, uh, but like I said, I mean, it still works just fine. Uh, I do use really good waterproof grease. Uh, the Schaefer brand, I think 274 is what I like. It's a Molly. <clears throat> So like I said, these are, the connection points are a dash eight ORB, which is basically a half inch. Uh, it's dash eight. Uh, it kind of gets confusing when you start going through, uh, looking at hydraulic fittings under dash eight, dash six, dash 10, dash 12. Uh, and basically what that means, if I remember right, is, uh, that dash number is the number of sixteenths. So like a dash eight would be eight sixteenths. Well, that's half inch. So a dash six would be three eighths. So what I have here is a dash eight ORB. It's O-ring boss. You see it's got the O-ring on there. They're straight threads. To a dash eight JIC. Uh, I don't remember the flare degrees, 37 maybe, somewhere around there. It's just a standard JIC. And so the O ring boss portion of that going to this port on the cylinder, and the O ring will do my sealing for me. There's no other thread sealant or anything like that needed. So we'll do the same on this side. And I'll tighten these up here in just a second. And here are my hoses. And so I just adapted this from an O-ring boss to a JIC. On this end of the hose, I have my JIC that will go on the top of this. And on the other end, I'm just converting that to a half inch pipe. And the reason that's a half inch pipe is because most of your Pioneer fittings, which I'm going to have to have to go on the back of the tractor, most of your Pioneer fittings, your half inch, are going to be a half inch pipe. That allows me just to screw that right into that half inch pipe, or half inch uh, Pioneer fitting, and then go right into my tractor. So this is my tractor end. And I like to face it towards the middle. Now these are 90s, if you can't tell. So JIC 90 to hose. And I like to face these towards the middle because my auxiliary outlets on the tractor are right here, pretty close. Or they're probably, depending on where this top link is at, uh, where your three point is lifted up or down. So if, if I had this pointing out this way, there's some potential that I could hit those hoses that are sticking out. Because it's going to be plugged in, say right here. So I might have to adjust these a little bit. And that's one thing I like about having these GIC 90s on there, is that you can loosen this up and twist it pretty much any direction you want and then uh, get it tightened back down.
Uh, so I kind of made a last minute decision there just to go ahead and use the old connectors that I had on that older cylinder. So I pulled the Pioneers off that. Uh, now if you do this, you want to clean them up good. Uh, try to get all that old oil and thread sealing out of there. And I just used uh, Electrosol just because that's what I had that was close and nearby. A uh, brake cleaner would also probably work really well just to dissolve all that hydraulic fluid. And then just make sure it's dried out really good. You don't want any of that left in there when you put it back on. Here's a thread sealant I've been using. This is uh, Fiber Type 440. But you have to pull up on it. y'all i think that's uh, gonna work out pretty good uh, seem to have you know get the tilt the tilt back that i wanted and plenty of tilt forward still so i think that worked out just about perfect moving up to this 14 inch cylinder after putting on those pats uh quick hitches and i'm gonna keep that other one so if uh, if the pats hitches don't work out i am just swap back to other, that other the 12 inch stroke magister and uh be good to go so I uh, didn't have any leaks so far. Uh, I'll put put it to use uh, here and uh, just keep an eye on it for a little while. But I don't suspect any issues. Uh, I've got a little bit of a leak up under my auxiliary outlets, but I think that's uh, probably some old O-rings in the outlets on the tractor itself. They just kind of drip, slow drip over time. It's not actually my uh, hoses or fittings it's the tractor itself so i got a kit order for that i may do a video on that too but yeah hopefully that uh helps you out um if you're looking at the magister brand uh hydraulic top links i've had good luck out of mine uh you know it didn't bother, didn't bother me a bit to order this other one here that's the same brand so all i did was move up a size basically uh so yeah i guess uh, i'm gonna end this video here hopefully you got something out of that thanks for tagging along uh, if you enjoyed that at all, give it a big thumbs up. 
Check out some of the other videos. Subscribe if you haven't. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one.